Welcome to an overview of our most recent prospect release. I'll be showing a SketchUp file, that's a sample SketchUp file I just made, um, and sending it into VR with the HTC Vive. So the sample file has a couple of things that I wanna point out. Um, I've set up a few scenes with the saved camera locations. So you can go between those scenes and it'll save that viewpoint. And then I've also set up a few layers with different design options on it. So I can toggle on and off different table layouts. Another thing I've added is the location to SketchUp. So the feature in SketchUp is called Add Location. I set it to be in Brooklyn, and that will guarantee that my sun settings are proper when I go into uh, VR. So to get going, you can open up the desktop app called Prospect. This is a free download on our website. And you can drag and drop that SketchUp file directly into the Prospect window. Uh, then click launch and in about 30 seconds to a minute it will send that file into a vr environment this is a lot of the tech on our end we're doing some mesh compression and texture compression to get that file to run really smoothly once it's in vr once that file launches it'll be placed on a table in what we call scale model mode and from there you can go into the model interaction menu and start modifying the model you can rotate it and scale it um, and then you can also slice a section into it to uh, better view enclosed rooms. And then once you're ready to go into the model, you can select navigate from the menu and pick a point in the model to teleport yourself into. Now you're in real scale mode and the space should feel very accurate to uh, your head height. And what we can't show on the screen here is you are getting a sense of space and a sense of scale and you can begin to explore the space really as if you were walking through it in real life. Um, what I'm doing in the menu is I just turned on black outlines. These are outlines we calculate based on the model. And now I'm in the viewpoint menu. So these are the scenes from SketchUp. When you set up scenes, it saves those camera locations within SketchUp, sends it over to our app. So when you're in that menu, you can hop between those different viewpoints. I just opened up the layers menu and this is showing the different table options that I had set in the layers in SketchUp. And this is a great way to show different design options. So you can set up different layers with different geometry on those layers and show those options. And then here's our sun settings again. So because this is geolocated properly, I know that this is actually how the sun would come into this room. And I can highlight elements that, let's say the TV is getting too much sun on it. I can capture that and then save a screenshot, to send to my team. In this release, we also rolled out the ability to take 360 panoramas so instead of taking a flat 2D capture, you can now turn on the 360 toggle and that will take a stereo panorama. So this is great for viewing these experiences on cardboard or on Gear VR. And this can make it easier for a client to go home with a file and be able to look at it uh, on their own phone. So that's the update. As usual, let us know what you guys would like to see next. Uh, we're working on a lot of features this summer and we'd love to hear how you're using VR at your office. You can contact us at the links below and thank you for watching.